my hair really woke up and chose violence today <laughs> and i'm not gonna fix it i don't care oh my god all right so i have no real reason to be filming right now i don't even know why i am to be honest i got kind of comfortable with filming last year around the end of last year and then i just like completely fell off um i'm not proud of it but i did do it anyway i don't know i'm at a weird place right now so i kind of started off this year had a bit of a glow up if you can't tell I hate it. Anyway, I, I'm i getting ready to go to Miami with my family and I have literally no reason to film right now, but it's just like something that was like in my brain and I was just ruminating on it. So I was like, fine, I'll just go film. Um, guys, it's been way too long since the last time I posted. And the problem I think I'm having is like, I'm doing that thing where I like use perfection as an excuse not to do. So one thing that has like transformed the entirety of my life since the beginning, literally just in the last, well, almost six months was that I just started doing stuff. And even if it was bad, I would just do it. And I was like, I'll get better on the way. Like I'll figure it out on the way, but I just got to start. And I would just start doing stuff like incrementally and slowly, but surely like, trying to improve each and every time I did it. So I think I just need to do that here. I hate editing though, so that's like a whole issue for me, but I think I should be fine because I'm just not gonna edit. <laughs> like, I, I can't, I won't, I refuse. I'm gonna just post stuff and then eventually maybe I'll get it together, maybe I won't. We'll figure it out as we go. I just can't like start off. I think the biggest issue is like, it's one thing so i started back playing tennis and it's one thing to like be bad but you're just like going out there by yourself and you're like slowly like figuring out how to hit again and like how to play but you're by yourself so like nobody can see you like kind of fumbling in the dark it's a whole other thing to like do shit like this and you're like kind of just doing stuff just to do it and but you're putting yourself out there in front of everybody i guess that's what's scary which is kind of weird when I think about it because I don't care. Like I do, but like I can also reason my way out of caring, you know? Like especially if somebody is like rude and they're not actually doing anything. And it's just like, but why would your opinion matter to me? At this point, I'm just doing this for myself and for nobody else, so that's where I'm at. I'm doing this instead of finishing cleaning. Maybe I'm using this as an excuse to still not be doing what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh my God, brain, why are you like this? So I think I'm gonna probably film while I'm in Florida. I'm gonna just try and film every day, I guess. I had that idea last year, but And I did, I filmed a lot. Um, maybe I should just post some of this stuff. I don't know, I filmed a lot, but again, like I wasn't, I was like trying to, I wanted the edits to be perfect and I wanted things to be like right and good before I put it out. And the fuck was that? Um, so basically all that content is just like sitting in the ether of my storage, my external hard drive. So I think I'm not gonna focus on editing right now. I'm gonna just post. I'm gonna try and do it every day. We'll see how it goes. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And then I'm just out here being a fucking goofball on the internet. I need to stop cussing so much. Then I'm just out here being a, I'm trying to think of a word. I'll just say I'll, I would just be a goofball, I guess. 
Should I do a life update? Or should I wait? Or is that like the opposite of the whole point of everything that I'm doing right now in this second? It's like five minutes of me talking about literally nothing. And I'm not gonna edit this, I'm gonna just post it. Life update. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to, I've been playing tennis. I went back to doing that, so yay for me. And oh, I've been learning uh, Spanish. Uh, I've been practicing Spanish by like just talking to myself in the car, like the intellectual that I am. And I've been learning Korean, which ironically I started with because I was like. I wanted to learn, like, I wanted to try and learn four languages this year. It's gonna be two, and that's what I might, I might still start Japanese because I have a little, like, a little bit of background in that. Like, Spanish was the one that I've obviously been learning the longest since, like, as long as I can remember. Did I just have a fucking stroke? I need some coffee. <laughs> But I um, don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm just gonna keep looking around. Why am I having such hard time making eye contact? Do I have an intense gaze? I've been told I have a bit of an intense stare. I'm off subject, so off topic. Yeah. So I was gonna start with Korean because it was the language I knew the least about. The only reason I wasn't even really, when I started like thinking about last year, when I started planning kind of what I was gonna do for this year, I just kind of was like, eh, I guess the fourth language could be Korean. Cause like, it, I knew it was like, it was interesting enough, I guess. Um, I wanted to learn like another Eastern Asian language, but I felt like Chinese, like either uh, Mandarin or even Cantonese, but I probably would start with Mandarin, right? Would be too much to add on to literally anything. So I was like, I already had a background in Japanese. I took a college course. I've been watching anime since I was, well, for 10 years. Well, for like 15 years and I forgot what I was talking about. So, oh, so those are like the two biggest ones that I was gonna work on uh, because I was like, I'm not exiting 2021 without being able to fluently speak Spanish. I'm sick of it. Like I, I, I'm sick of like knowing it and understanding it when people are talking and me not being able to express myself in it. So I was like, I wanna be able to do that. I also was like, so since I'm learning that language, I might as well add four on there because I just like to set unrealistic goals. It's fun. And so I did that and I was like, okay, then Japanese, obviously, because I already started learning that before. And I want to be able to watch anime without subtitles. I watched this show that ruined my whole life. Okay, so back in, literally on Christmas, it was me and Cody. We were sitting at, at my parents' house and it was just like a lot going on downstairs and sometimes I just need to get away. So I just like went upstairs and I, we were actually, I think it was Christmas Eve. We, we were sitting in the room, just like chilling, watching, like scrolling to figure out what to watch on Netflix. Cause we were, why do I keep giving you these details? You don't care. We were waiting for like midnight, I think, because that's the time like everybody could start opening presents. So y'all wasn't gonna tell me my forehead. Okay, I know my guys still have a breakout right here and right here and a little bit down here, but I started using these soaps and it's giving my skin life. Like it doesn't look so dull and listless and lifeless. It's kind of crazy. But me and Cody, basically we were scrolling through Netflix and then this, sh this like preview popped up for Sweet Home on Netflix, if you haven't watched it, I got everybody onto it as much as I could. Um, it popped up, it was so strange. And we like, we watched the preview, we literally like looked at each other and we were like, yeah, we've been to watch that. So we started watching that show, got sucked right into it. And 
I could tell, I was like, I think this is Korean. Like I couldn't, at the time I was uh, completely unfamiliar with Korean and like the whole culture and literally everything about it. So I was like, I think this is Korean. And I watched the show and then the ending was a little bit confusing, I guess. And so I went on YouTube as I always do and tried to find an explanation for the ending. And since I, I found the explanation, I think, I'm still not 100%. And uh, I'm literally just talking. It's been 10 minutes. I'll still post it. I'm not gonna edit it. I don't care. I don't care. Nobody has to watch it. <laughs> anyway, um, I forgot again. Do I have ADHD? No, there's no way. I just have a really bad attention span sometimes. What was I talking about? It's the espresso. It's the espresso in this coffee. Uh, so I kind of got the explanation for the ending. Kind of also didn't. But because I watched that and it was Korean. Yeah, I see. I know you see it. It, I don't know. It's giving me life and it kind of is doing whatever it wants. And it's pissing me off. Uh, then I got recommended all these other Korean things after that. And I was like, I refuse. I refuse to be another black black statistics. What? <laughs> the, the problem is I do things like this in my apartment all the time by myself. But like, I don't, there's no filming it. So nobody sees it. <laughs> but now doing it and realizing that people might actually see me acting like this. Is an eye-opening moment anyway so then they started recommending me a, 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 words what are they it started recommending me a lot of stuff and then I somehow got sucked into there's another there was a that show might have ruined my life but there was a video on YouTube that ruined my life maybe I'll link it below maybe I'll let it ruin your life too but it was uh a choreography from One Million Dance Studio in Seoul, I think. And that, after I watched that, there there went two weeks of my life because I just kept watching all that stuff. And then, then it started recommending me BTS and I was like, no, I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> But then eventually I got like sucked into God 7 but that's neither here nor there. And so then I guess because all this happened, well, because I watched that show at the end of 2020, I was like, you know, all right, I'll learn Korean too or whatever. But I was like, let me start with Korean because it's the one I'm least familiar with because I was going to do Spanish, Japanese, Italian, and Korean. And I was going to do Korean last, but then I was like, well, maybe I should start with it because it's what I know least. And it's probably the thing that's going to require the most time for me to learn. So I was going to stagger it like one language that I knew nothing about, which would have those two languages would have been. Well, I mean, I don't really know a whole bunch about Japanese. But I know enough. Uh, not, not enough. I don't even know enough. Why did I say that? <laughs> I know that it is a language. <laughs> that much I do know. Um, I, I learned. So I was like, whatever. I'll just start with Korean because it's the one I know absolutely nothing about. Italian, if you learn Spanish, it's like not that far off, I think. And those two languages are easier for English learners to learn. So I wound up starting with Korean and low key just like fell in love with the whole thing. Like, the language, the culture, all of it. It's really like, I just like learning, but like, I don't know, I really like it. So I really fell in love with it. So I've been working on Korean a lot. I'm getting a lot better. I can like listen and get the general concepts of what people are saying most of the time. I also need subtitles though, but it's progressing pretty well, I think, even though I'm five months in. I didn't, 
it wasn't up until last month that I really started that I really like caught my stride and figured out what I needed to do so that's what I or this month I should say the beginning of this month May so that was that and then uh this is 15 minutes of me talking about nonsense and then I was supposed to start Spanish but it's it's literally just going to be Korean and Spanish this year and then I'll do the other two next year I guess I don't know I don't know because Spanish I do know the language I don't know um but I cannot like conceptually start another language on top of this one so I've been doing that I don't know how I started down that tirade I did Spanish I mean I did tennis I'm learning languages I've been trading a lot more that's going really well uh and oh I've been killing plants let me show you something only first generation plant I have left. <laughs> I repotted it last week and well yeah so I have that and then there's I got a bunch of other plants for um, Easter and Valentine's Day so been killing plants that's been fun I was trying to learn the piano <sighs> have not been consistent with that I need to get back on that I'll probably I need to I'm gonna reset for uh I'm gonna use all next week to reset so that like the last six months can also be you no know, can be more productive than these first six but these first six have been pretty good so that's like a thing, I guess. Y'all, I just been talking about myself for 18 minutes at this point. How annoying is that? It's kind of cool though, I guess. I mean, you don't have to watch it. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anything else, so. Oh. I got vaccinated. They kept saying your arm was going to get sore, but somebody was not all the way honest because this shit really hurts. And my side hurts. I get the, if it's my side or my kidney, but it hurts. I think it's my kidney. So yeah, what have y'all been doing? Like, have you had a solid first half of 2021? It kind of feels like it flew by, right? I don't know. I feel like a lot of ha has happened in a very short amount of time. But like at the same time, if it like you look up and you realize like, oh my God, it's almost June. Like, isn't that kind of crazy? I don't know. Have you been doing like good stuff? What are you going to do for the summer? Is it going to be a hot girl summer or are you going to like behave because it's still a pandemic and there's a lot of people dying hmm. that's a good point meanwhile i'm leaving for miami today i'm not leaving for miami to have a hot girl summer i'm leaving for miami to be with my family and my brother while he goes on his little thing whatever that thing is called uh i almost said tennis he plays basketball not me burping in the middle of this video all right, well, that's been an unnecessary life update for 20 minutes. Uh, sorry.